This week, teens can enter the fantasy world of D&D, and younger kids are looking for reading volunteers. The Wesleyan Police Department are practicing their hoop skills for an upcoming game at John Glenn, and the Wesleyan Farmer's Market is looking for vendors. All that and more this week in Westland. While you may not be a famous TV or movie star, that doesn't mean you can't be a celebrity. Right now, the Wayne Wesleyan schools are looking for people in the community to volunteer as celebrity readers. By just spending 30 minutes of your day, you can help reinforce literacy in the next generation and help young kids develop a lifelong love of learning. If you would like to spend some time reading to elementary school students during the school year, please call Erica Tennant at 734-419-2084 to learn more about the Celebrity Reader Program. Did you know that colon cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the United States? It is estimated that there will be over 150,000 new cases of colon-related cancers diagnosed in 2023. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. The American Cancer Society recommends that everyone starts regular colon cancer screenings at age 45. Like most cancers, early detection is the key to a good prognosis. Talk to your healthcare provider to talk about your risk and make an appointment to get tested. Between being featured in the popular Netflix series, Stranger Things, and the upcoming release of the new Dungeon and Dragons movie, there is a renewed interest in the classic role-playing game. If you have a teenager at home who is interested in picking up the game or one that has been playing the game for years, the Wesleyan Library would love to have them join their new campaign. New and experienced players are encouraged to play in person or on Discord Friday at 3.30. In-person play will be held in room 308 of the library's temporary location inside Marshall School on Bayview. If you have any questions, call the library at 734-326-6123. There is another event coming up later in the month that many teens and their parents will want to make plans to attend. What John Glenn student wouldn't want to see some of their teachers take to the court in a basketball game against members of the Wesleyan Police Department. That is exactly what will be happening on Saturday, March 18th. In addition to the game, there will be a 50-50 raffle and a three-point contest that the audience can participate in during halftime. All of the proceeds from this event will be awarded as a scholarship to a John Glenn senior heading to college in the fall. The entry fee is only $5 for the game, which will begin at 2 p.m. in the John Glenn Gymnasium on Saturday, March 18th. The Westland Farmer's Market will be returning to Central City Park in May for another great season. Each week, you will have an opportunity to purchase the best locally grown produce, homemade treats, and one of a kind crafts made by hand. The market is managed by the Wesleyan Chamber of Commerce, and right now they are accepting vendor applications for the 2023 market season. There are special rates for a whole season, a monthly reservation, or even a single day. If you would like to reserve a spot as a farmer, vendor, or even nonprofit organization, Visit the Wesleyan Farmer's Market Facebook page to get more information and then go to their website to download their application. This week on WLND, Friendship Focus, Wesleyan Senior Resources Director Barbara Markham introduces the instruction of a brand new class at the Friendship Center 
to help seniors get better acquainted with their personal technology devices. Now that the Westland Library has settled into their temporary location, a number of programs and events have started to take place again. They are very excited to welcome Terrence O'Leary next Tuesday as he presents a discussion on the five-year-long potato famine. This accomplished author and storyteller will share stories that will tug at your heartstrings as he talks about the many who did not survive the great hunger of 1845. Then you will be uplifted by the tales of the over one million Irish who fled to America and survived and became an important part of American history and culture. Irish crossings will take place in room 308 of Marshall School on Tuesday, March 7th at 6 p.m. You can register and get more information by going to wesleyanlibrary.org. That brings this episode to a close. Be sure to join us next week for a new list of events and program happenings, including information on the latest art exhibit inside the gallery at City Hall. Visit our website at cityofwesleyan.com to see a complete list of events going on in our community. And of course, don't forget to find, follow us on social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to get all the up-to-minute news and information. Thanks for watching.